Hi guys, welcome back to Learn with Men Nuggets. In this video, we are going to learn about obstructive jaundice. I have made a video on Kubasir's law, so go check it out as well. Let's start with a case scenario. A 53-year-old woman comes to you with colically abdominal pain that is radiating to the back. Her skin looks yellowish in color. What is the most likely diagnosis? Obstructive jaundice. So what are the causes of obstructive jaundice? The jaundice can be from three areas. It can be from the lumen, such as in gallstones or worms. It can be from the wall, like a stricture from surgeries, a cholangiocarcinoma or a cholidocal cyst. And it can be from a mass from outside the wall compressing the bile duct, such as a carcinoma of the pancreas, a periampulary carcinoma, enlarged lymph nodes at the porta hepatis, or in chronic pancreatitis. So what are the clinical features you'll see in a patient with obstructive jaundice? Before we go into the clinical features, let's look at the normal bilirubin metabolism. First, when red blood cells break down, they release hemoglobin. Hemoglobin breaks down into heme and globin. Heme will then break down into iron and biliverdin. Iron goes to the iron stores and biliverdin will be converted to unconjugated bilirubin. Unconjugated bilirubin is water insoluble. Then this unconjugated bilirubin goes into the liver where it will be conjugated by UDP glucuronyl transferase to conjugated bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin is water soluble. Then this conjugated bilirubin will pass through the common hepatic duct and common bile duct and then to the intestine. In the intestine, conjugated bilirubin will be converted to stercobilinogen by gut bacteria. Stercobilinogen is what gives the brown color to our feces. Some of this stercobilinogen will be absorbed back to the blood. This is the enterohepatic cycle. From the blood, some of it will go to the kidneys to form urobilinogen, which is found in urine, which gives a yellow color to urine. And some will go back to the portal vein and to the liver. Now, after having a clear understanding of the bilirubin metabolism, let's look into the clinical features in obstructive jaundice. So when there is an obstruction in the bile duct, the conjugation of bilirubin will occur normally because the liver function is normal. But there will be accumulation of conjugated bilirubin in the bile ducts because of this obstruction. So bilirubin will not pass to the intestine to form stercobilinogen. So the stools will be pale in color. And also this accumulated bilirubin in the bile ducts will be absorbed into the bloodstream and will be taken to the kidney. So the patient will have dark color urine and they will also have deep jaundice due to the conjugated bilirubin in the skin. The patient will also have pruritus. This is due to the bile salts. So you will see scratch marks on the body of these patients. Also because bile is not sent to the intestine, fat absorption will be impaired. Therefore, fat soluble vitamins like vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin D and vitamin E will decrease. Vitamin K deficiency will result in bleeding manifestations. And because fat is not absorbed, patients will have greasy bulky stools. This is called tetoria. Also, when you examine these patients with obstructive jaundice, you should check if the gallbladder is palpable or not. This can help in ruling out carcinomas as the cause of jaundice. Do check out our videos on Kovacia's law to learn more about this. Now let's look into the investigations in a patient with obstructive jaundice. In blood, you will see an increase in total bilirubin and conjugated bilirubin. Usually, unconjugated bilirubin accounts for 80% of the total bilirubin and conjugated bilirubin only accounts for 20% of the total bilirubin. If conjugated bilirubin is more than 20%, jaundice is likely due to an obstruction. In urine, Conjugated bilirubin will be present and urobilinogen will be absent. Treatment of obstructive jaundice depends on the cause. If it is due to a stone, then ERCP and common bile duct exploration can be done. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.